All right, what's up everyone, Savage here. Um, yeah, coming at you from, uh, not my bathroom, this is uh, Mama Savage's bathroom actually. And I'm on vacation and I haven't shaved in a couple days. And I didn't want anyone to think that I just up and went AWOL, even though most people were aware I was going on vacation, but figured I'd get in one good shave, vacation style, since I only brought just minimal shaving equipment with me. And that is going to be my Viking brush my phoenix ascension with a phoenix blade in it and some derby shave cream never used it before actually so why not try it and like i said coming at you from sunny jacksonville florida my brother-in-law and his family just flew in today we're gonna go to uh jack's beach today they've never been and my wife also loves Jack's Beach. Let me wipe my face. So, go ahead and get this started. There we go. Hope everyone is having a good week. Hope everyone is having a very good day though. And like I said, I've been on vacation in Jacksonville for about a week and a half now. Drove up to Savannah to see my uh, ex-stepdad the other day. Had a pretty good time. And at the request of Miss Savage, I'm gonna, she wants to, me to keep my chin hair as my goatee, so, which according to some people, oh my God, this is great couple things. First, I woke up to a lot of drama on the Blade Gap Facebook page. If anyone is aware of what's going on with that, someone please tell me. Please kindly inform me of what's going on. Because I am out of the loop here. I tried getting on Blade Gap's Instagram page. And couldn't even, couldn't do anything. A lot of people said they were blocked. So hopefully there's a reasonable explanation. I really hate to see, you know, squabbles amongst this community. Um, Dan S. So I sent you an email regarding the giveaway, USPS. When I went to the post office, they sent it along with other packages I had planned to get sent to here, my mom's house. They sent your package there, or here. It's been here about a week now. My mom didn't know what it was, so she just kind of puts it aside. So I will be actually getting out to the post office today to get that sent to you. So I threw in an extra item in there for you for as an apology. Hopefully you don't think any less of me for that. I definitely should have been a little bit better about trying to track it, but, you know, the chaos of the week. I'm sure you understand, and I hope you do. And like I said, hopefully this doesn't change how you feel about how awesome I am. Just kidding. Oh, I'm not awesome. I'm a, turtle. I'm a turd sometimes. <laughs> Other news. Uh, had my first YouTube trolls the other day. A little entertaining. One really wasn't so much a troll. He was just commenting. It was about my uh, the shave bar soap that I did. It was just a bar regular soap. Hold up. Oh god. Ooh. And he was just like, "Oh, it's nothing special, nothing new." Which, yeah, he's right. It's not, but hey, it was cool to me. And then one person got on there saying, why is it the people who always have hardly any facial hair are the ones that do these videos? It's kind of not very fair to those who do. And I'm like, well, one, 
that, that, that made no sense to me. Like, one, I have to shave for my job every day anyway, so it doesn't matter. And two, what is all the hate lately? Like, who said you have to grow a full, thick beard to be able to want to shave? I don't know. It was really a little uh, disheartening at first because then I realized, oh, wow, it's really hard to shit people out there. But, you know, what you can do about it. They're just trolling. How, oh, it's not very fair for, you know, you're not really, you don't hardly grow facial hair. So how are we, the rest of us going to feel with the tugging and everything? And I said, I do experience tugging. Yeah, it grows in patchy. It grows in, I can't grow a full beard to save my life, but where it does come in, it comes in pretty thick and patchy, so. So I'm really liking this Derby soap. I mean, it's, hopefully it doesn't have the same uh, reputation as the blades do, you know, sometimes it cuts, sometimes it don't. You know, nothing, I mean, if you like Derby, you like Derby. That's my personal opinion of Derby. And I will stand by my opinion of Derby. Man, I got soap everywhere though even not the sidebirds. It's got really good glide. Really good slickness. I really like it. And it's only like, I think I paid six bucks for it at a local barber shop back in Virginia before I left. And uh, like I said, once again, Bandass, I am tremendously sorry. Um, I'm not mad about the situation because I understand, you know, they're, they're only human beings that work at USPS and they're all very stressed out most of the time. So these mistakes do happen. I really hope you are, you know, as, you know, forgiving. You seem like a very, very nice guy. So I'm not, you know, that's why I'm really, really bugged that this happened. I didn't catch it. So hopefully you forgive me for that. My first time ever actually leaving my chin hair to just grow. Eh, feels a little weird. My chin hair is the only thing that really grows long. You know, one time I grew it out for like a month and a half after my first deployment from Afghanistan and I, I, I could braid it. It was freaking funny. All right, rinse real quick. <laughs> All that good. I figured I'd wait till everyone was sort of taking a little nap real quick before we go to the beach today. I guess I didn't level it out right. I don't, I don't know. All right. Doesn't look terrible on me, I guess. All right, but that is all I've got for you all today. And once again, I was shaving with the old school Derby. And this product is made, oh crap, I can't tell. I can't, I cannot. Istanbul, I think. Turkey, yeah. Hope I hope that's right, I don't know. But very good product, very much like. But uh, that's all the Savage has for you today. So everyone enjoy your week. And that is all I got for you, Savage out.